Hello and welcome again to another edition of Litter Media Live for this, what is today? Is it Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday, the 23rd of April, 2024. With the icon, Mike Smith, I'm Dan Rainey. Good morning. Good morning. Or good afternoon or good evening if you're listening at a different time. That's true. Because you can watch this at a different time uh, here on Facebook as well as uh, a little bit later today on our YouTube channel. And those of you that might be listening live on Litter Media Radio right now. And how do you find it? Well, if you go to our website, there's a link up at the top that says Litter Media Radio. <laughs> Click on that and boom, it's there a dead, you are. Dead giveaway, yeah. And if you're looking at any story that you uh, or might be reading on our website, littermedia.com, uh, there's a radio player there as well. And it gives you an opportunity to see what's going on. The one thing I, I don't know is what happens when we're live. It shows you a picture of who we're talking to when we uh, have our interviews playing. Mm -hmm. But like right now, we're busy doing this. I never take a look at it, so I don't know what's showing up right now. On which site? On Litter Media Radio. Ah, I got gotcha. you. So, yes. Good question. Yeah. At any rate, that's that's you folks know because you're probably doing it right now. But if not... We'll, we'll try and check it out here in just a bit. All right. All that having been said, uh, coming up later today, there is a, another special edition around 2 o'clock today of Litter Media Live in which we'll be visiting with Lori Graves, and we'll be talking about some of the events coming up at the Majestic Theater. We've had some really good shows here of late, and they've got more during this summer and uh, still in the springtime as well. So that's coming up at 2 o'clock. wanted to throw that out for you right now while we're at it. Okay, weather is where we want to start, right? Yeah, some clouds today, overcast with a high 66. A chance of rain later tonight, and then tomorrow the sunshine will make a return, but it'll be a little cooler with the daytime high of 61. I think so, we can handle that. Yes, it's, uh, it's still April, folks. We're not, uh, we're not in that where we should be counting on 70s every day. Yeah, I did uh, water some of what I planted the weekend, though, uh, did take care of that uh, mm -hmm. last night. And they were bulbs that I, so they were, they're not going to be frostbitten or anything. And I don't think the water was going to have to be worried about freezing or anything like that at all. No. All right, coming up in just a moment, we'll get you caught up to date on what's happening with news and information. But first, we want to tell you about someone I'm trying to find. We don't have our producer, Aaron Glandon, with us again today. So uh, bear with me as I try to find this uh, commercial slide. Do you see it anywhere? Uh, I, well, I, if I could read your mind to know yeah. what you're looking for. Uh, um, sometimes, uh, oh, there it there is. It there is. we go. How about that? <laughs> Haynes Chiropractic Center. And, of course, uh, Haynes Total Healthcare Center is the actual name of the business. But uh, they've been around 50 years. If you remember uh, Papa Haynes, uh, he still stops in every once in a while. But, uh Brandon and many others are, are running the show now. So if you'd like to learn more about Haynes Chiropractic, all you have to do is say, yeah, I need some chiropractic help. Or maybe the, you need physical therapy. They can take care of that. Maybe you want them to help you with your nutritional uh, needs. They can do that as well. Click on this ad anywhere you see it on our website, littermedia.com. And when you click on it, it takes you right to HanesHealth.com their website for Haynes Total Healthcare Center. All right, coming up, we'll take a look at news next. Each week, Litter Media presents the Neil Coleman Insurance Wyandot Mutual Player of the Week. If you have an athlete to nominate, any amateur athlete is eligible. Simply visit littermedia.com and click on Player of the Week. At the end of the year, we'll announce the Player of the Year. Make your nominations now at littermedia.com. Click on Player of the Week. Well, I was looking for a first job. Um, I had been babysitting and decided it was something for a little more permanent. It pays very well. It's convenient. You can make your own schedule with the flexibility. That's something that I like. The people that I work with are great. I wouldn't ask for a better crew or management team to work for. And remember, every... Wednesday from 2 until 5 at all the McDonald's locations in the Chillicothe area. They have open interview periods with McDonald's. I'm, I'm loving, loving it.
Visit ChillicotheOhio.com for the Ross Chillicothe Convention and Visitors Bureau. Uh, time to take a look at what's making news for us. Of course, you can follow along on our website, littermedia.com. Here on Facebook, we have other posts that don't reach what we do on the website. And uh, same goes for Litter Media X, formerly known as Twitter. Mm-hmm. We begin with what you covered last night. Yeah, the Ross County Historical Society held their 128th annual meeting honoring contributors to the preservation of our local heritage as well as local student scholarships award. The first Capital History Awards were presented to the World Heritage Site Destination, Dard Hunter for the Mountain House, Ed Steele for the Bourneville Good Shepherd Church Restoration, and the Elm Grange. A special award was presented to Alan Dodro for his railroad exhibit, and that's that little streetcar. That's just part of it. Uh, that you see there on the right. We didn't get to actually see the model. They had a a video of it, and I was able to take a shot of that. But you can see it. If you look for uh, our YouTube channel, Mm -hmm. uh, look for an interview with Tom Kuhn. There is a – I followed the train with the camra. It looks as – it looks real as can be. It's really, really uh, a neat setup. Uh, The two uh, Nolan scholarship winners, uh, each getting $2,500, that's – Nora Beery on the left and Sarah Lute on the right. Nora's from Medina. Sarah is from Huntington School. Uh, Nora will be going to o- the Ohio State University, and Sarah will be going to Muskingum College. After the meeting, I spoke with Historical Society Board President Dana Martinko on how she became involved in the History Society almost three decades ago. Oh, my gosh. I've been uh, with the Historical Society here for probably at least 25, 30 years. This is my second set of nine years on the board. And um, what got me here? Uh, Probably because I started bringing my daughter down when she was very small. And I always had a history, uh, interest in history. And uh, the people here were friendly. It was a great facility and I just wanted to be involved. Thing that Dana told me off camera, that daughter, Whitney, Whitney Martinko, yeah. she's now a history professor in college. So, <laughs> Mom, all, you made a difference. It all started way <laughs> back when with a visit to the Ross County Historical Society. If you've never been, you need to go check out the Heritage Museum. It's absolutely fantastic. The McKell Library has. I was given special permission to go in when I was doing research on the history of Chillicothe football. They have a number of different newspapers which were published here in Chillicothe. I think at some point in time there have been six to seven newspapers published in Chillicothe. And, of course, on paper by Dard Hunter's dad. (laughs) Or his grandfather, probably. And and before that. So... So, yes, congratulations on the folks who have put this together. They have done a tremendous job. Now, if you go into our website, story at littermedia.com, you'll also learn that the uh, previous quilt shows that they've held there, well, they've put a book together on that, and they went on sale, the books, just yesterday. Hmm. So go into the Historical Society, and you can pick up one of those books. Did you uh, get a complimentary copy? I did not. You did not. I did not. But I I did see uh, the book, and you'll see a picture of it uh, in our website story. And and I know we've got a story about the U.S. mail uh, coming up here in a bit. But uh, I am a member of the Historical Society, Mm -hmm. and I received the mailing yesterday about last night's (laughs) meeting. Now, I did get the email, so I knew what was going on, but I thought to myself, Thanks, U.S. Postal Service, for getting this here on time. Yes, sir. On Friday, we had the opportunity to talk with Shauna Phillips there in the middle and also Jamie Elliott, who is on the far side. Uh, She is a national ambassador for St. Jude Hospital, and they are going to be running in the New York City Marathon. And uh, what's it take to get ready for a marathon? Well, they were getting ready to run the Buck 50 when we had this chat. There's numerous charities that run for the New York Marathon, and at the end of the lottery, they're allotted so many spaces. Uh, The St. Jude Heroes program was allotted 150 spaces, and when um, the opening came, 
those 150 spots filled up in 27 minutes. Incredible. <laughs> yeah, and there's like 400 people on the waiting list. Yeah, yeah. And so you're fortunate to be in. Very, very fortunate. This, this time around. I was supposed to do the New York Marathon in 2020, and it was virtual. So I ended up running five laps around Chillicothe. And I had some support from my friends, and every lap they had a sign that said a different borough of New York. So this is kind of the culmination of uh, a goal that I've had for a number of years. So I think once I'm done this New York Marathon, I'm hanging up my running shoes. No, I'm, I'm, and we hate seeing that or hearing that, but uh, there is a point in time as a runner that you just kind of say, you know, I'm done. Yeah. I've, I've run to the, it's like surfing the internet. And it, I don't know if you remember seeing that one commercial where the internet comes to an end. The guy clicks with his mouse and he goes, I'm done. <laughs> I've reached the end of the internet. But we know that it's not that easy. There's so good luck to them. That, absolutely. That is in November, November 3rd, I believe. So we're going to have them come back in as they get closer. It's uh, Shauna Phillips, Jamie Elliott, and Keenan Montgomery who are running in this for St. Jude Research. Very good. Washington Courthouse City Schools got some national recognition from the USDA for the Big Blue Bus Summer Food Service. Now, a couple of months back... We told you about them being uh, mentioned at a regional conference. Well, this is even bigger. They get the Turnip the Beat Bronze Award from the USDA. It is uh, recognizing outstanding summer meal program sponsors across the nation who work hard to offer high-quality meals to kids that are appetizing, appealing, and nutritious during the summer months. So congratulations. One of the requirements is not changing your blue bus to a red Eat colored bus. No, no. No. So they get to keep the blue and white. They, they get the blue. That's right. <laughs> South Central Ohio Job and Family Services is offering an opportunity for youth age 14 to 18 to work this summer. Now, again, a few weeks back, we told you about work permits. Well, this is an actual program through the local Job and Family Services program. But the deadline to apply is May 17th. So youngsters or your parents need to make a call as quickly as you possibly can. Highland County Spring Cleaning Community Wellness Event will be held on May the 18th, that's a Saturday, on the Courthouse Square from 9 to 1 at the Hillsborough Farmer's Market opening day. There will be a prescription drug take-back, shred worn and tattered flag disposal, and community wellness events through the Highland County Health Department. So a full slate of activities that day. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine has announced that Ohio will become the first state in the nation to begin screening all newborn babies for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. The provision was included in uh, House Resolution 33, the state's budget bill for fiscal years 24 and 25, which the governor signed last July. Dan alluded to this a little bit earlier. The U.S. Postal Service is recommending a rate hike on certain products, including a five-cent increase on first-class forever stamps from 68 to 73 cents. Do you realize it was 50 cents just in 2019? Yeah. So that's really skyrocketed in just a short period of time. It still has to meet the approval of the U.S. Postal Regulatory Commission, but typically when the post office says we need this, they get it. Emergency pass through, yeah. but if it does, it'll. Pro- I think they said uh, July fourteenth would be when it goes active. So there you have it. Our road report today takes us. Uh, oh. oh, that's the book, by the way. Huh. We were talking about a little bit earlier uh, that you can get on the uh, quilts that have been on display uh, over the years at the Ross County Historical Society. Our road report in Scioto County work uh, has gotten underway for a resurfacing project on US 23. This is State Route 728 between the city of Portsmouth and the village of Lucasville. Work will occur daily and should be completed sometime this summer. Should be. Should be, Rabbit. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) And and that was actually could be, right? Could be, Rabbit. Yeah, but we had a should be. Was that the famous um, episode where Bugsy and... Uh, shutting up, shut up, shutting up, yeah. Yeah, button your lip, and <laughs> you're, hey, you're supposed to me. You put the button on his lip. Yeah. 
and <laughs> and the Irish uh, cop. <laughs> Oh, you, you rabbit, yeah. So, he's hiding in the stove, eh? <laughs> yeah. No blank. I loved Warner Brothers cartoons growing up. And then uh, the Warner Brothers, remember here, seeing them? Uh, what were their names? Uh, oh, I can't remember the names right now. But The original Warner Brothers? No, this was the Warner Brothers, <laughs> uh, and Dot was the, the sister and then there were two brothers. They were cartoon characters. Okay. Uh, this would have been in the 1990s, I think, oh, or I late wasn't, 80s. I wasn't watching. Uh, they were hilarious as well. So one of their big lines was, hello, nurse. All right. <laughs> Coming up in just a moment, we'll take a look at sports. But first, accurate heating, cooling, and plumbing, your trusted comfort advisor for nearly five decades. Uh, they have service agreements and all kinds of mm-hmm. stuff for them, right? Yes, sir. Maintenance agreements. We have them come out twice a year to the Smith Ranch to make sure all of those categories are working the way they should. And the territory they serve has grown so much, they have eight offices now to handle all of your calls. Click on this ad anywhere you see it at littermedia.com, and it takes you right to their website, which is accuratehvac.com for accurate heating, cooling, and plumbing. Sports is next. This is Andy Tomlinson. When insuring what's important to you, our agents are there when you need us the most. Tomlinson Insurance, for the best coverage at the best cost. Visit us online at tomlinsonins.com to learn more. Find a career you love with Pickaway Ross Adult Education. Skilled trades careers are in high demand with no signs of slowing down. Pickaway Ross offers career training programs with expert instructors and hands-on learning tactics to create a variety of opportunities. Visit our website for more information. For transportation options in Ross County, call Ross County Health District's Mobility Management Team, 740-779-9652. If you're looking for a cleanup job, maybe you've got a project you're doing at home, or maybe your business, maybe you've got some uh, changes you're making there and you're throwing things. This does not take people, by the way. No. Uh, j- just <laughs> objects. So if you want to fill that up, and they will haul it off for you as well. Scioto Valley Dumpsters, you'll know them for their bright orange dusters. Uh, dusters? <laughs> dumpsters. <laughs> My brother used to drive a... 1970 duster. Plymouth Duster that was orange, just like that. I had a flashback. Mm-hmm. Um, Scioto Valley Dumpsters, 740-253-8389 to get that taken care of. Give them a call, and they'll fix you right up. All right, time for sports. Chillicothe Paints have a new manager. That they do. As in field manager. And he's a guy familiar with the team. Yes, sir. Darian Lewis, a Westfall High School graduate. Played some Legion ball, I think, at uh, Circleville Post 134. Uh, Rio Grande, is that where he went to college? Yes, and I think he helped coach that uh, Circleville baseball team. Yeah. The uh, Legion 134. Uh, 134 Panthers, yeah. yeah. So congratulations, Darian Lewis, on becoming the 2024 field boss for the Chillicothe Paints. Now the pressure's on. Nope. Jackson White wins... A prospect league championship, he takes off. The guy who came in last year, uh, help me remember his name, McDowell? Uh, I had it here in my notes. I thought maybe not. It's in the story, though. He came in last year, wins a prospect league championship. Uh, Darren, pressure's on to you. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. I, I, I like this guy. I think, I think he's going to make some things happen. Show me the, show me the, the talent, and I'll, I'll get a win. You bet. Back out to the high school track last night, Adina Girls and Gallia Academy Boys won the Huntington Invitational Meet. Uh, the girls of Adina had 103 points, but the runner-up had 100, so they just got over the hump to win that championship. And lo and behold, a stranger to us, not, Adina's Bryson Smith claimed the boys medalist honors for a fourth state our fourth straight meet that he's participated in. The and, kid is on hot. And what's killing me is he's not winning all of these events. Right. I think he you won know, the 100 he, last night. He's just showing consistency. Yeah. Uh, and that, that's just awesome. Congratulations. So, congratulations. So, Tuesday night's high school uh, scores on the diamond included a milestone for Wheatersburg softball coach Teresa Ruby in their 27-3 to win 
over Portsmouth West. Teresa picked up career win number 500. Now, remember, this squad is the two-time defending state champion, and they'll be making a run for number three later this season. That Ruby name is synonymous with Wheelersburg, too. I think you're right. I think there's a couple of other Rubies that we knew from over the years. Reds opened up their series at home with the Phils last night. You know, this game was over before I even knew they were playing. Yeah, it was fast. I think I got home at 9 o'clock, and I thought I'd turn the game on, and I'm seeing this pop up. I, I think it finished up at like 8.55. Yeah. So, uh, game two against the Phils uh, later tonight. The Guardians were off last night. They opened a home series against the Guardians tonight. But Cleveland picked up Woo-hoo! a win. Maybe that's where all the attention was supposed to be as the uh, Cavs beat Orlando 96-86 to to take a 2 to nothing lead in their Eastern Conference NBA opening round series. Let them know. We just did. Yes, sir. Congratulations. On the way, this date in history. But first. We have two, uh, by the way, if, we, uh, if they have those uh, images up there. The events for this date in history. <laughs> yeah, 92 years of serving propane users in southern and central Ohio. We're talking, of course, about litter quality propane. Reliable supply, reliable service, reliable people. Litter quality propane. Are you looking for a beer that satisfies your thirst and love of country? Armed Forces Brewing Company brews beer for patriots. Celebrate freedom with every sip. Armed Forces Brewing Company. Freedom never tasted so good. At Rathcamp Financial, we provide wealth management services that may ease clients' fears of financial loss and help them retire comfortably. Our greatest satisfaction comes from working with clients for many years and helping them realize their dreams. It's time to get serious about your lawn. It's time to step up to the best mower brand money can buy. For nearly four decades, Skag has been the easy choice for lawn care professionals. Don't settle for anything less than simply the best when it comes to mowing your lawn. There's sure to be a Skag model that's perfect for your yard, big or small. Make your lawn the envy of the neighborhood. Visit your local Skag dealer today. Skag, simply the best. Our financial lives have never been more complex, and some decisions just can't wait, which is why our KNB Mobility app gives you instant access to the financial tools you need wherever you are. Get a clear picture of all of your accounts, check your daily transactions, receive account alerts, and much more. So no matter where you are or what you are doing, you can make the best decisions for you and your financial goals. Download our Kingston National Bank Mobility app today. Pain was interfering with Tiffany's active lifestyle. Same-day hip replacement at the Adena Orthopedic and Spine Institute got her back to the community she calls home. At Adena, we do what we love, so you can too. Time now for this date in... Uh, should I put my theatric voice on? Absolutely. Time for this date in history. <laughs> to be or not to be. A baby born on this date in 15, we tried to rhyme it, 1564. According to tradition, the great English dramatist and poet William Shakespeare is born in Stratford-upon-Avon on this date in 1564. It's impossible to be certain the exact day on which he was born, so they made it up. No, but church records show that it was uh, he was baptized on April 26th, and back in those days it was customary to wait three days after the birth to baptize. Mm. So they went back three days and said, okay, this is Bill's birthday. How do you say his name without saying Shakespeare? It's just, it's just hard to do. Yes. Yeah. But this is also our uh, Revolutionary War Day, and this fella, on this date in 1778, Commander J-P-J. John Paul Jones leads a small detachment of two boats from his ship, the USS Ranger, to raid the shallow port of Whitehaven, England, where by his own account, 400 British merchant ships are anchored. Jones was hoping to reach the port at midnight when ebb tide would leave the ships at their most vulnerable. Have you read up on that? On this particular battle? Yes. Just yesterday. Be- because it intrigued me, and I-, I thought, we went to Britain to make this happen. Right. 
And I guess he was from Winter Haven. Yes. And so he had a, a good idea of what all was happening. But there was some dissension amongst his ship, and there was concern for mutiny. And so when they got into these boats, they rowed, and their original point of entry was the tide was too strong. Mm-hmm. And so they had to check another spot. I, I read through this, and it just fascinated me. And it's still considered not a success. It was considered something that just was a total bungle. Yeah. But they managed to burn some of the ships and, if anything, save Britain from French invasion because the Brits managed to forget about what was going on in the shipyard and they all band together and created their own fire force, firefighting force, and so they kept the village from burning. Yeah. Unintended consequences are a regular theme in war, yeah. if you look throughout history. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But what a, a, a unique plan. I mean, knowing that the ships would be moored in the spot where they couldn't get out. Yeah. I think we saw this with Pearl Harbor. Yeah. But I think this would probably be equivalent to Doolittle's raid, where for the first time we take it to them in yeah. their home territory. Little surprise to them, yeah. and uh, we can touch you. <laughs> I think that's the <laughs> line they kept using over the weekend with Israel and uh, Iran. So yeah, we yeah. can touch you. Absolutely. All right, that's it for today's daily show. Again, we have a special edition coming up later this afternoon with Lori Graves to talk about what's going on with the Majestic Theater. I might also get her to talk a little bit about a post she made yesterday about the Special Olympic teams. Oh, okay. I don't know if you... It's one that you can say to laugh the because, <laughs> He started to laugh because she's a comedian, right? Yeah, really. But um, she is involved with the Special Olympics, and uh, she gave a shout-out to Rob Strong at Chillicothe High School, to uh, Coach McGill down at Huntington, mm-hmm. and also, um, uh, who's the other? Oh, uh, Kai Pulliam, Pulliam out at uh, Paint, Paint Valley, Valley, because they have opened their doors to their kids to allow them to participate and uh, to train yeah. at the high school tracks. So uh, thank you for that. And uh, Of course, those are some good individuals who are doing a fantastic job helping with the youth. And when you integrate these kids from Pioneer Center with these, I've seen this a, a ton of years now with many schools doing this. Chillicothe, I saw it for the first time uh, through the football program. Mm-hmm. And it meshes together very well, and it, it it's something unique, I think, really, to Ross County and yeah. this this part of the country. Yeah. Well, and Pioneer Center was a pioneer in this educational field right. many, many years ago. I know, talking with Rick Marriott, uh, uh, it's probably been 10 years ago or so when he was, before he retired, uh, we were talking about how the integration of those with special needs into this part of the community and through First Capital Enterprises. They've all done a fantastic job. And the people of the county area have just embraced them Mm -hmm. and helped them function as well. So it's it's a really cool thing. So thank you, Ross County, for doing what you do. And points beyond as well. Mm -hmm. Until tomorrow, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. I'm Dan Ramey. He's the icon, Mike Smith. We'll see you on the next edition of Litter Media Live.